good evening ladies uh, a very warm welcome to all of you and a happy happy yoga day to all you cannot always control what goes on inside but you can always sorry you cannot always control what goes on outside but you can always control what goes on inside so how do you do that control what goes on inside your mind the answer to that question is yoga the practice of yoga originated in india about 5000 years ago and is india's gift to the world it's not just a form of physical exercise but it is one that unifies the mind body and soul and that's the reason why more and more people all over the world do yoga and that's the reason why india gave to the world international yoga day so welcome once again to all of you i'm delighted to say that few of our members are yoga practitioners too and uh, they have shared a little something about their practice of yoga so here i would ask chitra to play that video please for us chitra yeah i will be playing wait so much chitra for that uh, so that was few of our members doing the uh, one of their favorite asanas for us uh, that was indeed delightful uh, now i invite our senior vice chair nandita munsha to say a few words over to you nandita nandita you are on mute you need to unmute yourself Mm-hmm. So. Hey, 
can go ahead nandita one second one second yeah i did it get lost hello i wish everyone present a joyous international day of yoga i nandita munsha will be the day chair due to a loss of a family member this morning karuna patel a chair person will not be joining us today she wishes everyone a happy yoga day respected past chairs executive committee members and my flow family Fikki Flow Ahmedabad welcomes each one of you on a blissful journey of mind, mindfulness and sound health with Shunya Living Yoga Studio and Wellness. Yoga, learning and delving deep into a three-letter Sanskrit word that finds its roots to ancient India and overwhelms the world of fitness and spirituality at the same time with its profound benefits. Yoga means to add and symbolize the unity of the physical body with its consciousness and harmony with self, other, and with nature. As simple may it seem, sitting with a quiet mind and breathing deep, stretching your body parts, the peace of mind yoga offers at the end makes it all worthy. Our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, took personal interest in spreading awareness about yoga. and its life altering benefits to the world 21st june being the longest day of the year was adopted as international day of yoga by the un general assembly in 2014 unfortunately today our lifestyles demand us to multitask and we tend to practice distraction more than mindfulness the patience wears out easily and we tend to frown at petty things such as low internet speeds when tension inside and outside are aggravating every day and the world is in dire need of peace isn't it a more human and wiser approach to find peace within first yoga is one of the most valuable gifts to humanity and a holistic approach to health and well-being that should be adopted as the guide for a fuller living in true meaning yoga offers a lifestyle that fosters good health manifests the richer life and better sense of being so without any delay let's jump start an exclusive session with a name that has made prominent mark in yoga and wellness over to parav thank you thank you nandita ben so much thank you for your words so we have with us today uh, dipti jindal founder shunya living yoga studio dipti besides being a go getter entrepreneur is somebody who takes life itself with optimal spirit she's a deep diver in terms of self reflection being a yoga practitioner herself she sees it she sees yoga as a practice of life a journey of self fulfillment and peace and wanting to share that path of yoga with the world she founded shunya living a space that exudes harmony and positivity it is a space that gives you the experience of abundance so let's take a minute and uh, have a look at this beautiful space called shunya living created by dipti jindal uh, chitra could you please play that video of shunya living yes Shut the outside world. Take a step towards self-exploration. Dwell deeper to reach the roots of inner strife, awaken the subconscious, and attain the harmony with the universe. Welcome to the realm of yoga. 
a space that lets us set in motion the self-evolutionary journey and helps regenerate ourselves. The studio takes us to the profound stillness through pranayas, asanas, meditation, relaxation and breathing techniques and connects with the Supreme Consciousness. Vinyasa Krama, Ashtang Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Therapeutic Yoga, Ayangar Yoga, under the watchful eyes of accomplished yoga teachers, unleash the subtle energy of yourself and synergize mind, body and soul. Be in communion with yourself. Do not get ruffled and riled by the chaos of the outer world. Yoga is a way of life. again Chitra thank you Welcome. beautiful that's an inspiring space Dipti enough to forget the outside world for a while and spend some time at your studio I'm looking forward to doing that again um, Dipti I invite you to say a few words yeah thank you Paula and Anita Ji I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation for the Fiji Pro team and to Taruna Ben for, in, for believing in Shunya Living Yoga Studio and Wellness and to celebrate the 6th Annual International Yoga Day with us. I firmly believe that through regular practice and devotion, all people, regardless of age, gender, race, or religion, can experience the oneness of yoga. Do enjoy your session of this yoga practice with love and compassion. Resonate and vibrate with the feeling of abundance within and spread it around. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dipti. And thank you for taking time out. I know you're the busiest day in the year for you guys. So thank you so much for doing this. Um, from Shunya Living, we have with us yoga guru Shashi Kumar. He's a global yoga and wellness practitioner with over 18 years of experience. He has been trained at the Bihar School of Yoga one of the world's oldest yoga universities. We thank you, Shashiji, for taking thank time you. out and leading and helping us lead this session for us. Um, I would like to say a few words. The true meaning of yoga is summed up in the verse, Chitta Vritti Nirodha, meaning silencing the fluctuations of the mind. Now in yoga, there are eight steps to achieve that. But we shall not dwell on that. That will be too much. But we shall have a taste of three with Shashi Kumar today. Namely, Pranayam, Asana and Dhyan. So before I hand over all of you to Shashiji, ladies, let's switch off our phones, clear our minds. Let's give these 30-40 minutes to ourselves. Let's get on this beautiful practice with yoga master Shashi Kumar. Over to you, Shashi. Thank you very much. Hari Om and Namaste to everyone once again. Welcome and I wish you all a very happy 6th International Yoga Day. And I'm glad to see so many enthusiasts and people willing to understand and adopt yoga, a yogic lifestyle in their daily life. As beautifully explained by various other people before me about yoga, what is yoga? What does it do and why should we take it in our daily life? So I'm not going to go more into deep into it, but uh, the three different stages, which we just spoke, asana, pranayam, and dhyan. I'll just like to go through the, all eight different stages, just the name, so that you are aware of what are the eight different stages, what is the journey, where do you start, and where do you actually not finish? It stays with you forever. Yama, niyama, asana, pranayam, dharana. Pratyahar, Dharna, Dhyan and Samadhi. So the Dhyan part comes after Pratyahar and Dharna. So when we see Yam, Niyam, Asan, Pranayam, Pratyahar, Dharna and Dhyan. So 
when we talk about dhyan, everybody jump into the dhyan and think dhyan is uh, just sit and close the eyes and start with dhyan. For dhyan, nobody can actually practice meditation, but you can actually just prepare yourself for meditation. The meditation happens on its own. The practice or the preparation part is called pratyahara and dharna. Pratyahara is basically withdrawal of all your senses. The sensory organs are continuously receiving different sensory experiences from the external world and our mind are bombarded with it. We are continuously, the mind is continuously experiencing the sensory organs and it is busy with processing them continuously. And so we, the mind doesn't get still and we don't experience the calmness of the mind. So the Pratyahara stage helps to withdraw the senses. Then you reach to Dharna. Dharna is basically concentration or focus at one point. So the mind becomes one point in this. Once the mind becomes one pointed and you stay there, and that opens the door to dhyan. So we can only prepare ourselves for dhyan, but we cannot practice dhyan. Nobody can teach you dhyan. <clears throat> so I'm going to take you from asan. Yama Niyama is a self discipline which you uh, practice by yourself. Asan is basically preparation of the body to go further into dharna or dhyan. Then pranayam to increase the energy or the pranic flow in the body and the practice or the techniques of pratyahara and dharna to reach dhyan. If it happens, it's good. If it doesn't happen, we keep trying. All right, so let's start with very simple practice. I'm not going to, as you have seen so many asanas happening on the video, very intimidating headstand, hanging upside down and all. But uh, as this 40 minutes will not be more, uh, will not be enough to understand or experience all these difficult poses. So I'm going to take you through a very simple practice just to relax the body so that we can experience the breath, we can increase the pranic flow within, and then we can experience the withdrawal of the senses, which will lead us to a deep sense of calmness and peacefulness. Without further delay, let's begin this practice for today and please sit comfortably in any asana, any meditative asana. It could be a cross leg position. If you're sitting on the chair, it's also fine. Or down, doesn't matter. Any cross leg position, wherever you can keep your spine upright, straight and relaxed. Get ready. Sit in any comfortable position. Become aware of your spine. Lengthen your spine, make it upright and straight. But do not make it tensed. Drop your shoulders and relax them. Rest your hands on the knees in chin mudra where the palm is facing upward or gyan mudra where the palm is facing downward with the index and the thumb meeting each other. Keep your head neck straight in a line with your spinal cord and then gently close the eyes and mouth. Take some time here. Adjust and readjust your position. Make yourself feel comfortable and relaxed. Take a slow, long and a deep breath. Inhale deeply. And as you exhale, loosen up the whole body. Relax the whole body. Try to maintain the awareness of the physical body. Observe the whole physical body sitting comfortably, steady and still. If you're feeling any tension, any tightness, any stiffness or any heaviness in any part of your body, address them now and mentally try to relax them, release them. By doing so, achieve a completely relaxed, still and steady body. Allow the body to become relaxed and still. Clear the mind. 
if your mind is dwelling in past or future or if it has any expectations drop it now and simply become aware of this moment in this moment also become aware that you are going to practice yoga set up the intention prepare your mind prepare your body keeping the body completely still steady firm and relaxed switch the awareness towards the breath simply become aware of the natural breathing process do not try to alter do not try to change simply become aware that you are breathing in and breathing out just an awareness not concentration concentration will disturb the natural flow of the breath just the awareness that i am breathing in and i'm breathing out and also the awareness that i was not aware about my breath before this and now i am aware notice the flow of the breath within your nostrils take some time and let the breath relax and become rhythmic effortless breathing just the awareness within the nostril still calm and relaxed body natural and spontaneous breath maintain the awareness of both keeping the awareness of the still calm and relaxed body and the spontaneous natural breath try to concentrate in between the two eyebrows at the eyebrow center try to visualize or see a tiny flame of a candle light shining brightly if you are able to see great if not try to imagine picture you must have seen a burning candle in your life a tiny flame of a candle light shining brightly in between the two eyebrows still body relaxed breath and a shining bright light in between the two eyebrows maintaining the awareness of shining bright light a tiny flame of candle light in between the two eyebrows we are going to chant the mantra om for three times all together and as we chant the mantra om see the tiny flame growing bigger and the light of the flame spreading throughout your head throughout the body take a slow long and a deep breath
शांति 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 ब्रिंग यू पाम्स टूगेदर एंड रब दम ब्रिस्कली कीप द आईज क्लोज रब यू पाम्स टूगेदर मेक इट नाइस एंड वॉम एंड वेन यू फील सम वॉम इन बिटवीन द पाम्स जेंटली प्लेस इट ऑन द क्लोज आईज फील द वॉम टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ And as you breathe out, shrug the hand off and gently open the eyes. <clears throat> We start with extending legs in front of you. Very simple, but very effective asanas to basically just loosen up and relax the body. Not much, <clears throat> just to relax the body. Extend the legs in front of you. We'll start with just shaking the leg to loosen up the legs, the joints, the hips, the muscles around the legs. Loosen up, relax. We'll start with beautiful butterfly pose or titliyasan. Bring your soles and your feet together. Drag the heels. Draw the heels as close as possible to you. Be aware of the knees. If you have any knee issues, don't push the heel all the way back. <clears throat> Bring the heel as close as possible to you. Interlock your fingers and place it in front of your toes. Lengthen your spine. Relax your shoulders. and start to gently flap the knees just pressing down and it will bounce back we'll practice this for about 2 minute maintain the awareness of the natural breath keep the mind clear keep the inner thigh and the hip joints complete relaxed and just continue to flap the knees loosen up from the hip joint the breath is natural the breath is spontaneous but the awareness of the breath should be there mind should stay clear and should stay in the present as we said yoga se chit virit nirodhe yatha swarupe swasthan yog is about seizing the fluctuation of the mind the modification of the mind and so the practitioner the sadhak can see or experience their true self they can see their inner personality just like if the water is still you can see your reflection and if there is the water has ripples waves you cannot in the same way you can only experience your inner personality your true self when the mind becomes completely still and that is the ultimate aim of you only you are able to rectify yourself or correct yourself or change your lifestyle when you become aware of your true self your inner personality we have put so many masks so many duties on ourselves and we have forgotten ourselves and yoga or yoga is a journey to the self through the self inward good start to loosen up you can increase the pace if you want to if you are comfortable Let's go for last ten rounds here. Last ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Lift your knees up. Stretch it in front of you. Place the hands behind your back one more time and shake the leg. Relax the legs. Once again, sit in any comfortable position. The next session. is kantharasan or <coughs> kanthar sanchalasan shoulder rotation the arm stretch in front of you bend through your elbow with the fingertips all together place it on the top of your shoulders we start to rotate the shoulder loosen up from the shoulder joint now as you inhale lift your elbows up and high close to the ears and bring it back push it back draw the shoulder blades down and bring it together now try to synchronize this movement with your breath as you inhale lift up and as you exhale drop down two let's do this five rounds as you inhale lift up synchronize the movement with your breath 
exhale down three slow and big cycle don't rush inhale up and exhale down three just loosening up from the shoulder joint to make a big circle inhale up exhale down four one more time inhale up and exhale down five move into the opposite direction now inhale up exhale down one inhale up exhale down two inhale up exhale down three inhale up deep inhalation and complete exhalation four synchronize the movement with the breath inhale up and exhale down five relax the hands down on knees and relax your shoulders keep your spine upright take a deep breath breathe out and relax the whole body keep your spine upright and let the whole body relax we're now moving towards the spine, paying attention to the spine and doing all the possible movements which is in the spine, starting with lengthening the spine. Interlock your fingers and place it on the top of your head, crown of the head, sitting Tadasana. Elbows back, chest up, chin up. And as you're breathing in, simply extend the arms above the head. As you're reaching up, make sure the elbows get extended and locked, underarm gets stretched, belly is pulled in and lift the rib cage up towards the ceiling. Keep the hip heavy on the floor. Chin up slightly, look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, down. One, let's do this also five times. Inhale, up. Lengthening the whole body upward. Stretching the spine upward. Exhale, down, two. Inhale, deep, without any rush. Take a slow, long and deep inhalation. And as you inhale, lengthen up. Synchronize the movement with the breath. Exhale, down, three. Very nice. Inhale up. Exhale down four. Inhale up. Exhale down five. And drop the hands back on the knees. Relax your shoulders. Take another deep breath. Breathe out and relax the body. Upwards. Extension of the spine, upward stretch of the spine. Now the lateral movement of the spine, side bend. <clears throat> left hand, place it next to your side of the body. Inhale, lift the left right hand up. Stretch the right arm as high as you can. And as you breathe out, reach with the left arm and bend the body to the side. Breathe out. Keep the right hip heavy and the right knee pressing towards the floor. As you stretch the right arm towards the left side, look up to the side. Breathe out. Nice. Inhale, come back. Keeping the hip heavy on the floor, reaching with your right hand as far as you can, breathing out, keeping the elbow, left elbow extended, pulling the arm far, looking up to the ceiling, feel the stretch to the side of the body, inhale, come back, and exhale to the other side. Let's do also five of these on each side. Just stretch, reach as far as you can, very nice. Inhale, come back, and exhale to the other side, keep the hip heavy on the floor, don't let it come up. Inhale, come back, exhale to the other side, five. Inhale, come back and exhale to the other side, six. Inhale, come back, exhale to the other side, seven. We are as young as our spine is. Inhale, come back, exhale to the other side, seven. So movement of the spine is must. Inhale, up. Exhale to the other side, nine. Inhale up and exhale to the other side, 10. Inhale and come back to the center. Hands placed back on the knees, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, once again relax the body. Keep your spine upright. Now take a deep breath again. And as you breathe out, place the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind your back. And as you're breathing out, pulling the belly in towards the spine, gently twist the spine and try to look back. Turn the rib cage, turn the shoulder, turn the head. Left hand pressing the right knee and the right hand pressing the floor down. Belly pulled in, breathe out completely and twist your spine as back as you can. Inhale, slowly come back. Exhale, go to the other side, just loosening up from the spine. Look back. Inhale, come back. 
Exhale to the right. Let's do also 10 times five on each side. Breathe out. Keep your spine upright. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Always twist the spine when the spine is straight, not bent. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Four. Breathe out. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Five. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Six. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Seven. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Eight. Meru Akrashan. Dynamic spinal twist. Satya. Inhale, come back. Exhale to the other side. Nine. Inhale, come back. And exhale to the other side. Ten. Breathe out. And slowly come back once again to the center. Take a Breathe out relax one more time. And now, coming out of this pose, let's come up on the knees to practice Marjari Asan. Marjari Asan. Marjari is the Sanskrit name of a cat. Just like this cat stretches the spine and keeps the spine flexible, this Asan makes your spine supple and flexible. Forward and backward bend of the spine. To practice this, place your elbows in front of your knees. And then slowly stand up on both the hands. Check and make sure that the wrist and the shoulders are aligned. Separate the hand shoulder width apart, knees hip width apart, toes relaxed. Keep your hip and your shoulder steady. Press the floor down with your hand. And now as you inhale, lift your chin and your tailbone simultaneously at the same time up towards the ceiling and let the spine bend. Pay attention to the spine. Visualize your spine bending like a spring. Inhale, chin up, tailbone. Up, shoulder away from the ear. And as you're breathing out, tucking the chin in, tucking the tailbone in, pulling the belly in and up towards the spine and pulling your spine up towards the ceiling. Breathe out. Arch in the other direction. Inhale up. Chin up, tailbone up. Bending the spine, shoulder away from the ear. Exhale, chin in, tailbone in, sucking the belly in towards the spine, pushing your ribcage up to the ceiling, press the floor down with your hands and separate the shoulder blades. Let's do another five rounds of this. Inhale up, make sure the chin and the tailbone lifts at the same time, synchronized. Breathing out down, pay attention to the breath as well at the same time, make sure you are breathing right, navel pulled in, tailbone tucked in, Inhale up, breathing in up, awareness of the spine, breathing out, down, three, just moving the spine up and down like a spring. Inhale up, very simple yet very effective us. Exhale down, four, inhale, come up, chin up, tailbone up. Exhale, down, five. Inhale, and back to center. From here, stand up on the knees. If your knees are sharp and the floor is hard, if your knees are hurting, you can roll the mat or can place a blanket or a towel right underneath the knee. We are going, these were dynamic asanas, loosening up asanas. Now we are moving to few static asanas which will develop the strength and also increase the flexibility of the spine. We are focusing on the spine only, not much today. Knees hip width apart, hip, hands stretched out in front of you, Ustrasan or camel pose. Toes can be extended or tucked in, it's up to you. Hands stretched in front of you. Now, as you inhale, reach your right hand up, up towards the ceiling and then reach it towards the wall behind you. And you're trying to reach the right arm forward, make sure the left arm is pulled forward. Now try to get the right hand to the right heel. If you're able to get the right heel with your right hand, great. If not, place it at your hip. Similarly, inhale, left, lift left arm up, reach up, reach back. When you're dropping the left arm behind, push your hip forward, belly forward, and the rib cage up to the ceiling. If your left arm is also placed on the left heel, great. If not, place both the hands on the hip or the back. Once both hand is on both the heels, allow the head to fall backward. Don't push it back, just allow the head to fall backward. Let the chin come up, keep pressing the hip forward, belly upward, chest upward, and the head is dropped. 
find the pose comfortably and now breathe slowly into this pose. Not normal breathing, natural breathing. Stay in the pose for about 10 breaths. Stay 10 breaths here. Go again one more time. Don't come up. Just stay there for 10 slow, long, and natural breaths. One, two, three. Maintain. Four, feel the bend of the spine. Five, six. If the hand is reaching heel, good. If not, just at the back. Seven, good. This is also fine. You can do this. Eight, nine, and ten. Retracing the steps, slowly come back. Both hands, one by one, come back and sit down in Vajrasana. If your knees are not fine, don't sit in your Vajrasana. If your knees have issues, don't sit in Vajrasana. You can sit the legs straight in front of you or sit in Vajrasana. If you're sitting in Vajrasana, take a deep breath, breathe out, and separate the knees wide apart. Knees both as wide as comfortable for you. We are moving to Shashank Ashan or the hair pose. Lending and stretching of the spine forward direction. Knees as wide as comfortable for you. If your knees are not comfortable, sit with the legs straight. I'll let you know the next pose, if you can, what you can do. Knees wide apart, hands in front of you. Place the hands on the floor and inhale deep. To lift your chest up, lift your chin up and look towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen the spine upward, look towards the ceiling. And as you're breathing out, keep the hip heavy in between the heels and start to walk forward with your hand. Make sure the chin stays up, the chest stays up, not drop. Keep looking upward towards the ceiling as you walk with your hands forward. Make sure the hip is in between the heels, pressing the heel down. Once you can't go any further with your hands, take another deep breath. And as you breathe out, let the chest fall down and let the chin come on the floor. If this is possible, great. If not, you can place your forehead down and then relax. Stay here for again 10 slow and long deep breaths. If you're sitting with the legs straight in front of you, you can go for a Paschimottanasana, which is bend forward, just like that. Good. 10 deep breaths. Observe the breath here in your belly and take slow, long, and deep breaths into the abdomen. Stay. One. As you inhale, fill the abdomen, expand the abdomen. Feel the expansion around the lower back. Breathe out, stretch your arm forward, press the chest down and extend the chin in front of you. Three, slow, long and deep breaths. When you're bending back, we're breathing naturally. In this pose, we are breathing slowly and deeply. Four, inhale and expansion, exhale and extension, relaxation. Five, staying there, stay, static. Staying in that position. Six, Sashan Kashan. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Without any rush, start to pull the hand back as you inhale. Just walk back with your hand as you inhale and then slowly extend the legs in front of you. Place your hands behind your back. Take a deep breath. Come out of the pose with the stretched leg in front of you, hands behind the back, take another deep breath. Breathe out and relax. Now, once again, bending the spine laterally. We, were, we did all this movement dynamically, now we are doing Statically. So these asanas moving to a parvit, Pashimutanasan, or lateral bend of the spine. Separate the feet wide apart as comfortable for you. And then bend from your right knee. Press, place the right heel at the groin of the right thigh and the left leg as open and as wide as possible in the same line with your hip. If it's not comfortable, go till it's comfortable. Don't force. The golden rule of yoga is not to force the body, to respect the limit and stay with it. Right hand pressing the right knee down, left hand reaching to the left toe. Grab hold the toe if you can, if not, ankle below the knee, wherever you can. Take a deep breath, inhale deep and as you inhale, press that right knee with your hand 
and draw the shoulder, right shoulder behind towards the left shoulder. So turning the ribcage up to the ceiling and looking up towards the ceiling. Once again, inhale deep and stretch the right arm up and high. Lengthen the right arm up and go as high as you can. Now as you breathe out, drop that right arm and try to go reach towards the left toe. If you are able to get to the left toe, great. If not, place the right hand behind the head and point the elbow, the tip of the right elbow up to the ceiling. You can keep looking up on if the neck hurts, if it's not comfortable, you can also look down, but make sure the elbow is pointing up to the ceiling, not towards the wall in front of you. If you're grabbing the toe or behind the head. Nice, settle down in this pose and experience the, the effect of the pose. Breathe slowly and deeply for 10 breaths here. One, a deep and intense stretch the side of the body. Two, right thigh, right hip, pressing the floor down. Four, reaching with your left arm. Five, turning the ribcage towards the ceiling. Six, continue to breathe. Very nice, stay. Seven. Eight, with any, every inhalation, feel the expansion. With every exhalation, relax the body. Nine. One more deep breath here. And 10, very nice. Now as you inhale, slowly retracing the steps, come back. Both the hands down, take another deep breath. Breathe out, relax, and switch the side. Now bend the left knee and extend the right leg out. Spine upright, <clears throat> inhale deep. Exhale, reach with the right hand to the right toe. Draw the left shoulder back. Turn the ribcage towards the ceiling, chin to the shoulder, inhale deep, stretch the left arm up and go as high as you can, upward. Lending the body upward, the more you go upward and the more you can go downward this way. Breathe out and start to drop, drop, drop. If you're able to get to the toe, great. If not, hand behind the head, elbow up to the ceiling, looking up or looking down, wherever it's comfortable for you. Again, 10 deep breaths here. One, stay in the bush to experience the effect of the pose and the flow of the breath. Three, the breath should relax. It should be slow, deep, and even. Four, with less physical effort. Breathe comfortably, slowly, deeply. Five, six, yoga. Seven, sariram, sthiram, sukham, asana. Eight, nine, and 10, very nice. Retracing the steps, come back up. Inhale and come back up and exhale, relax. Sit back in any comfortable pose. That's all time we have for the asanas. Let's move to a very <clears throat> calming and relaxing pranayam, which is Brahmari. Sit in any comfortable position. Sariram, sthiram, sukham, asana. Until and unless the body becomes still, comfortable and relaxed in any particular asana, you are not going to get the benefit or you're not able to experience the power of that asana. So in any asana you get there, your body should become comfortable, it should become relaxed and steady. And the breath should be moving softly, gently, rhythmically. Not breaking, not jerking, no gap between the inhalation and exhalation. That's it. Now sit in a comfortable pose. We are going to practice dhamri or humming breath. Before we practice, few notes to keep in mind. The practice, the physical practice, I'll just demonstrate you quickly. Using your index finger, don't do it right now, just have a look. Using your index finger, you're going to plug your ears. Once the ears is closed, don't do it right now, just listen to me. Once the ears is plugged, you have to set your awareness at the center of the head, where the pineal gland is. So imagine if you're putting the finger inside the ear and if it's going all the way in, where the fingers will meet, it will meet right behind the eyebrow center in the center of the head. So once the ears are plugged, you have to put your awareness at the point behind the eyebrow center, right in between the head. And once the awareness is set, you're going to take a deep breath and with deep inhalation, as you exhale, you're going to hum like a bee. Mm, with lips together, teeth together, relaxed face, and you're going to create as much vibration as possible inside the head. Being aware of the vibration and being aware of that point where the awareness is set, right? Let's do just five rounds of this to experience this. This 
practice will calm the mind down. People who find it difficult sleeping, difficult relaxing, can get lots of benefit from this Brahmri Prana. Let's practice. So, five rounds on your own. Inhale, exhale, we'll complete one round and you will do five rounds of this. Plug the fingers in the ears, close the eyes, inhale deeply. Mm -hmm. Once you finish the practice, do not open the eyes. If you have finished the practice, do not open the eyes. Sit completely still and steady and observe the vibrations inside the head and in your spine. Complete stillness and awareness of the vibrations in your head and in the spine. The calmness, the peacefulness within you. Try to maintain the complete stillness of the physical body. Without opening the eyes, slowly and gently lie down on your back in Shavasan for a couple of minutes. Slowly and gently lie down in Shavasan. Lying down on the back. If possible, keep the eyes closed, keep the mind internalized. Separate the feet apart. Let the toes, feet drop or flop to the sides. Keep the arms away from the body. Sanju, tell me what's going on. Facing up. What? Gently curled and relaxed. Shoulders dropped. Head neck straight. Eyes and mouth remains gently closed. Take a slow, long and a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, surrender the whole body to the flow. Once again, take a slow, long and a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, speak to yourself mentally and say, relax. Try to develop the feeling of relaxation within you. Now once again, scan the whole body mentally from the tip of your toes to the crown of your head. Scan the whole body mentally and if you come across any tension, tightness, stiffness, heaviness, become aware of it 
and mentally try to release them, relax them. Give the mental suggestion and ask that body part to relax. Mentally relax the whole body. There should be no tightness, no stiffness in any part of the body. Total surrender and complete relaxation of the physical body. Continue to breathe naturally and spontaneously. Become aware of your breath and keep breathing naturally and spontaneously. Do not change, do not alter your breathing pattern. Once again, simply become aware that I am breathing in and breathing out. Complete and total awareness of the breath. Now start to notice the breath, the flow of the breath deep within the nostrils. Deep within the nostrils. Try to observe the temperature of the air. You will experience a cooling sensation as the breath moves inside, deep within the nostrils. Experience the cooling sensation as the breath moves into the body. And at the same point, as you breathe out, as the breath comes out, you will experience a feeling of warmth. Notice the change of the temperature in the air as you inhale and as you exhale, deep within the nostrils. Maintain this awareness deep within the nostrils of the cooling and the warming sensation. And with the power of your choice, with the power of your mind, extend this sensation of cooling more in towards the body. So the same sensation which you are feeling deep within the nostril as the breath moves in, the cooling sensation, See the same cooling sensation now spreading throughout the body as the breath moving in. Experience the cooling and the calming sensation. And as the breath moving out, feel the warming sensation. And now slowly start to deepen your breath with very minimum physical effort Start to deepen your breath. With every inhalation, experience the same cooling sensation entering the body, cooling the whole body and leaving a sense of calmness and peacefulness. In the same breath, which is coming out through your nostrils, warm breath is drawing all the tension, the stress, the worries and the tiredness of the day. Slowly deepen the breath, inhale deeply and exhale even deeper. With every ingoing breath, experience the calmness, the coolness spreading throughout the body. And with every breath out, see the tension, the stress, the tiredness being drawn out of the body. Slowly and gently, 
bring your feet together, keep the eyes closed. Slide the legs close to each other, stretch the arms above the head, and take another deep breath and stretch the whole body like you're just waking up from a deep sleep. Stretch the whole body. Keeping the eyes closed, breathe out and slowly turn to any side, roll the body to any side, taking your time, sit up, back in any comfortable meditative pose. Find the right. Sit in any comfortable meditative pose. Become still and steady once again, as quickly as possible. Complete stillness of the body. Concentration, awareness at the eyebrow center. Once again, visualize a tiny flame of a candlelight shining brightly in between the two eyebrows. Seeing this light shining brightly in between the two eyebrows. If you wish, please chant with me the mantra Om for three times all together. Hands in the prayer pose in front of your heart center. Inhale deeply. Rub your hands together, rub them briskly, make them warm, and once the hands feel nice and warm, place it gently on the closed eyes. Take a deep breath, synchronize the breath out with sliding the hand out and gently open the eyes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Ashuji, for a really, really wonderful session. You led it so beautifully. And I Thank think the, all the ladies are surely feeling calm and more fulfilled, uh, especially with all the stresses about COVID and the lockdown. Uh, I think it was, it was really, really, really very good. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I open the house to Q&A. Uh, &A. If anybody has any questions to ask, uh, please put it up on chat. Um, if you would like to ask it yourself, please request on chat to be unmuted if you're on mute. Uh, anybody has any questions, please go ahead. So um, maybe I'll begin by asking a couple of questions, Shashiji. Yes, uh, please. When you mentioned uh, once or twice about having a yogic lifestyle. Yes, yes. Uh, what does yogic lifestyle really mean? Yeah, good question. I would love to talk about it. Uh, <clears throat> yogic lifestyle. Now, when I say yogic lifestyle, the first picture which might come into your mind is somebody wearing an orange robe, shaven head, tikka on the head, and living in an ashram. Most of people will have that vision in front of the eyes, 
Rather, a yogic lifestyle is a disciplined lifestyle. See, the yoga is basically a lifestyle only. It's not an exercise regime. It's not a cure to a disease. It's not a, a cure to a problem or any such thing. If you lead your life yogic way, which I'm going to mention how you can lead that, you will not come across such problems. So yogic lifestyle is when you practice yoga throughout your life, throughout the day, from the time you wake up in the morning till the time you go to sleep in the bed. So it's continuous practice. For example, how would you do that? Because we think we have to come on that mat to practice yoga. Rather, when you're waking up in the morning, you start your day with the mantras, could be Gayatri Mant, Mahamritunja Mant, or just the Om chanting to start your day, to have a positive vibration in your mind, to set up the attitude. You choose your attitude with which you can lead the day. You can choose to be negative, you can choose to be positive, it's up to you. But starting the day with that attitude. Then you move to your nit karma, which is yama, niyama, your, your cleansing, your taking bath, your freshening up. Then you practice your asana, pranayam, uh, mudra, dhyan, whatever it is. Then you continue the attitude of awareness or continue the attitude of yogic by meeting anybody with a clean heart, clean attitude, without any negative feelings of jealous, anger, frustration, negativity within you. So you're maintaining that attitude. In the afternoon, you practice a psychic sleep, which is yoga nidra. Then you continue throughout the day, taking some time in the afternoon, in the evening, to do swadhyaya, self-study, just simply by writing down what is good about me, what is bad about me, and working on it continuously. Then you practice throughout the day, you maintain the attitude, you go to the bed. When you're going to the bed, that's the most important part when you have to implement the yoga lifestyle in your life. Most of us, when we are going to sleep, we are going to sleep with a busy mind. The body gets tired and it falls to sleep. And the mind keeps running. And because of that, many people, they wake up at midnight. They're not getting a complete rest, complete deep sleep. So to shut the mind before the sleep is very important. When you're going to the bed, when the body relaxes, you scan the body, relax the body, you move the awareness to the breath. You can also add the mantra to the breath, which is so hum. It's a very beautiful practice for people who are very extremely stressful. So just combining the mantra with the breath, as you inhale, you chant so, as you exhale, you chant hum mentally. So once you start doing that, the mind starts to become still, calm, it leaves all the parts, all the problems, and start to settle down. And then you go to the sleep. So like that, you can practice yoga throughout the day. It's just the attitude which you have to uh, adopt and nothing else. And the modern lifestyle currently, this is the most important part. Yes, absolutely. The modern lifestyle is giving us more problems than, than ever now. That is so true. Uh, when you talk about breath uh, and, and yoga and people say yogic breath. And so I really want to know, what is, the, is there a correct way of breathing? From what I read, I think we as human beings don't even breathe enough. We don't exactly. even breathe to both the nostrils, if I'm not yes. wrong, right? Yes, yes. Um, uh, and that is why we have so many ailments because every cell or every part of our body is not getting the oxygen that we need, right? Exactly. So, yes. um, uh, can you dwell a little bit on that about about sure. breathing? And when you mentioned soham, that's why the uh, question popped in my head. Right. See. <clears throat> Out of 10, if you're not aware about your breath, how you're breathing, you are breathing most of the time wrong. See, breath has a direct connection to the mind. And the mind has direct connection to the breath. All emotion has a direct connection to the breath. All breath has a direct connection to emotion. For example, if you are angry, you see how the breath moves. It moves more into the chest. If you are crying, the breath is breaking. If you're sad, you almost don't even feel the breath. It goes so shallow. When you're happy, you're breathing more openly. So here you can see the connection between the emotion and the breath, between the mind and the breath. So if the emotion can alter the breathing, a breathing can alter the emotion as well, vice versa, right? So correcting the breath. When we are breathing more into the ribcage, more into the chest, that is anxious breath. It will keep you anxious. It doesn't matter what you do, your mind will stay unsettled. Anxiety, nervousness, this will create problems when you're breathing more into the chest. The breath should always move from the belly. 
When I say belly, it's not the abdomen, it's not the stomach where you're breathing in, rather you're breathing in the lower section of the lungs. We divide in yoga, we call it Poon Yogic Swashan, or three part breathing or full yogic breath, where we divide the breath in three sections. The lower section, which is the abdomen, the diaphragm, the midsection, the rib cage, and the top pocket of the lungs is the collarbone here. So we need to, throughout the day, keep checking the breath, where the breath is moving from. Is it moving from here or is it moving from here? A relaxed person, a calm mind, a relaxed mind, you will always find the breath is moving from here. If you see a baby sleeping or a man sleeping, you'll see the belly is going up and down, right? So as soon as you switch the breath to your belly, the mind will start to settle down. A deep breath is a straight signal to the mind to relax. You cannot take a deep breath in a stressful situation. If you're falling from a mountain, you cannot take a deep breath. So as soon as you take a deep breath, when I say deep breath, the deep breath starts from here. Normally when you say deep breath to people, they'll breathe. And that's all. It's finished. 30% of the lungs utilized. The rest 70% stays as it is. So when you're moving the breath, you move more from the belly. So you see the abdomen expanding first. The abdomen expands because the diaphragm compresses the abdomen down. So the abdomen expands and then the ribcage expands and then the, you can reach to the collarbone. So in general, this is the practice which you can do three part breathing. But in daily life, throughout the day, you have to keep checking your breath. If you keep moving the breath back to belly, back to belly, back to belly, you'll find a deep sense of calmness. A person who breathes from the abdomen can never be stressed, can never be tense, can never have anger issues. Thank so you. it's a big uh, discussion on breath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, and we never, never realize the little points that you said, right? That an agitated mind can never breathe calmly. And exactly. uh, that's the beauty of yoga, right? Strengthen your body with asanas. Strengthen your mind with pranayam and controlled breathing. Uh, wow. So uh, I'm getting a lot of, lot of messages that everybody really, really enjoyed the session, Sashi Ji. Sure. Uh, sure. And um, I, I am going to ask, uh, if there are no more questions, I'm going to ask, invite Dr. Rachna Gemavan to give uh, a uh, vote of uh, thanks, uh, please. Uh, if I may just... Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, there is a... Uh, no. Uh, for Mr. Shashi Kumar from, uh, from Flow Ahmedabad chapter, we have a gift for him. Uh, one night stay gift from Madhuban Resorts and Spa worth uh, for 10,000 rupees. So that is for Mr. Shashi Kumar. So we will send it to him. Thank uh, you. We we'll send, send it to him. Yeah. Thank you. Ed. Hopefully we we'll travel soon. <laughs> yes. yes. I'm currently with you live from Patna, Bihar. I'm at my center here. Okay. Your, yeah. Whenever you are here, you must visit yeah. and it's, it's a beautiful place for you to do some yoga, actually, also. <laughs> okay, so now invite Dr. Rachna Gemavat to give the vote of thanks, please. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Dr. Rachna Gemavat, Vice Chair of the Ahmedabad Chapter. On behalf of Flo Ahmedabad chapter, I would like to thank Shunya Living Yoga Studio for this wonderful yoga session for all our members on the 6th International Yoga Day. Yoga indeed offers a great deal of wellness and support, both for the body and the mind as one whole being. I would like to thank our sponsors, Madhuban Resort and Spa, Phoenix Creation Simplified, Satyanarayan Jadia and Sons, Sanket India Anand, our IT partner, EITL, our design and print partners, iCash Printing and Stationery. Last but not the least, I would like to thank Mr. Shashi for this wonderful session on yoga and all our members who are part of this webinar. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Stay safe and stay safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So as usual, I know Tarunaji is not present. But we have, Chitra has done the fish bowl and Deval, I don't know if you can see my phone, but she's picked up a chit and Deval Soparkar is the winner for today. So, uh, I don't know if Deval is still there or not, but I guess she was here, I know, I did see her. Yeah, and this is the gift for her, so. All right. So, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Thank you, Shashi. Thank you, Shunya Living. Uh, 
Uh, I hope it was inspiring for all the members of Flow Fiki that you will add yoga into your life. And uh, till then, stay safe, do yoga. And as the Chief Minister of Gujarat wants us to say, do yoga and beat Corona. I will say that also. So thank you and Om Shanti to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Parag. Thank you, Dipti. Thank you, Parav. Thank you, thank you, Niti. Thank you. Hi, Niti. Thank you, Niti. Thank Thanks. You. It was very good. Very good. Calming. It was very calming. <laughs> thank you. I think, thank Dipti, you. everybody really enjoyed. I really a lot of messages. Calming. Like everybody found it very calming. That's so, very nice. It's great. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, Pooja. Hi. How are you? Okay, guys. Ciao. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>